I'm going to be building a kit amplifier in the near future and I thought I'd build a simple 2 or 3 watt exciter for that amplifier. I also wanted to use uh, an ESP32 uh, SI5351 combo uh, as, as the heart of that to uh, control the uh, frequency, control the, uh, the exciter itself. So here's the schematic and let me uh, walk you through the major components. Uh, firstly, we have the ESP32 uh, itself right here, which is responsible for controlling uh, the frequency output by the SI5351 uh, frequency synthesizer through I2C. Uh, it's also responsible for turning off and on the, uh, the power to the amplifier here. So uh, the, uh, there is a, uh, a GPIO which is configured as an output switch. The output switch drives this uh, BS170 MOSFET, which turns this P-type MOSFET here and allows uh, 12 volts. There's the SI5351 itself, the frequency synthesizer. Uh, I've used that many times before. In this case, it'll be outputting uh, uh, a simple fixed 7 megahertz frequency. Next, we have this uh, 74HCO2 uh, quad NOR gate, which acts as a buffer between the SI5351 and the trio of BS170s. Uh, we have the power switch that I mentioned before, which basically... There's a GPIO configured to uh, go high on transmit and low on uh, on uh, not transmitting, and that but that basically turns this uh, BS170 on, which in turn turns this uh, P-type uh, MOSFET here on, and that passes 12 volts out to uh, the 12 volt transmit. We have the trio of BS170s configured as a E-class amplifier. Uh, together with this loading coil. Um, this is, um, I, I've seen this example in quite a few cases. The, probably the most uh, well-known one is, uh, this is kind of the output stage for the QCX series of radios. Uh, but also Pacific Antenna have a line of, uh, uh, of transmitters too, which, uh, which have this uh, trio of BS-170s. After the uh, BS-170s, we have a low-pass filter here. Now, this low-pass filter is configured for 50 ohms on output, 37 ohms on input. And I've been playing around with the, uh, with the input impedance to the filter. Uh, obviously, the input impedance to the filter affects the actual power output uh, of the BS-170. So I started with a 50 and 50. And I was getting about, uh, about 2 watts out. Um, I uh, changed that to a 50 and 37. Now I'm getting about 2.5 watts out, and I might continue to play around with this. Then finally, no transmitter would be uh, complete without having some sort of side tone, uh, and that's uh, configured out of... Uh, I've got DAC output here, which is at 700 hertz, and that gets passed through this simple amplifier down here, which consists of an LM386 and some associated circuitry. So let's have a look uh, uh, at the board itself and see where all that is. So let's uh, quickly go through the components on the, on the board here. So here's the ESP32 and the SI5351 board. Um, here's the uh, 74HCO2 quad NOR gate. So the output from the SI5351 uh, gets buffered here and then gets sent to the gates of this trio of BS170s that you can see here, here and here. This is the uh, loading coil on the, uh, on the output, uh, on, on the drain of those BS-170s. Uh, this, is the, this MOSFET here is another BS-170, which is uh, the 12-volt the switch. And here's that uh, P-channel MOSFET, uh, which actually does the 12-volt uh, the switching itself. So just panning up a little bit, here's the, uh, here's the low-pass filter right here. And then I've got the output going off to uh, um, its 50 ohm terminated in, in a power meter. Um, and I'm tapping the, the output of that and sending it off to the oscilloscope. So let's get this, uh, well, just one final thing. So here's the uh, LM386, which uh, takes the output from the, from the DAC on the ESP32. Uh, so it's a 700 hertz tone, which comes through, gets amplified, and then sent to a speaker here. So anyway, let's uh, get this powered up and uh, we'll see the waveform on the oscilloscope. Okay, so there's the, uh, it's all powered up and ready to go. Let me just uh, press the transmit button. 
you can see there, let me just pan over to the uh, oscilloscope so you can see the output trace a little more clearly. So there's the output trace there, about 31 volts peak to peak. And uh, you can see down here, let me just pan down to the uh, power meter. And that's about 2.4 volts, uh, 2.4 watts uh, of output. So anyways, just a quick uh, little video today with, uh, I've got uh, the code and the, um, uh, the code in the circuit. Uh, I'll provide a link up, up to my uh, GitHub repo for that. Um, uh, like I said, I'd built this uh, as an exciter for uh, an amplifier that I'm planning on building. Uh, but I thought I'd uh, share this uh, uh, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and that's all for now.